Hi, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am now a member of the Survey Corps. Erin Yeager invited me to join them, but I said that I'll only do it as a part-time job. And in return for giving my help to them, he agreed to also help us in our lesson for today. In our previous lesson, we had an introduction regarding the literary elements. If you fail to watch our video about it, I put its link in the description box below. Please complete watching our videos up to its end. I always add some activities and seat works at the end part of my videos to help you master the lesson that we are discussing. I also add at the end of the video all the shoutouts as my appreciation for your comments in my videos. I will mention and congratulate those who were able to finish the video and get a passing score in our seat works. Just comment the score that you'll get in the comment box down below. If you also want me to shout out your name in my next video, just leave a comment down below. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, please like this video as your support to my channel. You can also share this video to your friends, share the happiness, and most importantly, subscribe if you are not subscribed yet to my channel and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. For starters, I present to you the vocabulary words that you will encounter in our discussion. Try to match the words to their correct definition in the left column. I'll give you a moment to think about your answers. Time's up! Here are the correct answers. Before we talk about our guest for today, I want you to remember that you should listen to the story very carefully and take down notes of important details. Don't forget to prepare a pen and paper with you so that you can list down all the important details. I also want you to take note of these following questions. 1. What happened in the beginning of the story? What problem did the people in Aaron's town experience after a hundred years? What's the thing that Aaron hated the most yet still happened to him? 4. What did Aaron use to fight those who threatened his home? And then last number 5. What bittersweet victory did Aaron have? Eren Yeager is the main protagonist in the popular manga and anime Attack on Titan. He lives in a town surrounded by three gigantic walls, Wall Maria, Wall Rose, and Wall Cena. And here's a short story about him. Humans are nearly exterminated by giant creatures called Titans. Titans are typically several stories tall, seem to have no intelligence, devour human beings, and worst of all, seem to do it for pleasure rather than as a food source. A small percentage of women survived by walling themselves in a city protected by extremely high walls, even taller than the biggest titans. Flash forward to the present, and the city has not seen a titan in over a hundred years. Teenage boy Eren and his foster sister Mikasa witness something horrific as the city walls are destroyed by a colossal titan that appears out of thin air. As the smaller titans flood the city, the two kids watch in horror as their mother was killed by a titan. Eren Yeager swore to wipe out every last titan and take revenge for all of mankind. <laughs> but in a battle for his life, he wound up becoming the thing that he hates the most, a titan. With his new powers, he fights for humanity's freedom facing the monsters that threaten his home. After a bittersweet victory against the female titan, Eren finds no time to rest. A horde of titans is approaching Wall Rose and the battle for humanity continues. Now, let's answer the questions that we hang earlier. 1. What happened in the beginning of the story? Humanity survived from titans by walling themselves in a city protected by extremely high walls. What problem did the people in Eren's town experience after a hundred years? The city walls were destroyed by a colossal titan. What's the thing that Eren hated the most, yet still happened to him? 
Eren became a titan? 4. What did Eren use to fight those who threatened his home? Eren used his new power. What bittersweet victory did Eren have? Eren defeats the female titan. All of your answers are examples that shows the plot of a story. Plot is a literary term used to describe the events that make up a story or the main part of a story. These events relate to each other in a pattern or a sequence. Plot is known as the foundation of a novel or story around which the characters and settings are built. It is meant to organize information and events in a logical manner. When writing the plot of a piece of literature, the author has to be careful that it does not dominate the other parts of the story. There are five main elements in a plot. 1. Exposition 2. Rising action 3. Climax 4. Falling action and 5. Resolution Exposition, also known as introduction, is the beginning of the story where characters and setting are established. The conflict or main problem is introduced here as well. Rising action occurs when a series of events build up to the conflict. The main characters are established by the time the rising action of a plot occurs, and at the same time, events begin to get complicated. It is during this part of a story that excitement, tension, or crisis is encountered. In the climax or the main point of the plot, there is a turning point of the story. This is meant to be the moment of highest interest and emotion, leaving the reader wondering what is going to happen next. This is also known as the most exciting part of the story. Falling action or the winding up of the story occurs when events and complications begin to resolve. The result of the actions of the main characters are put forward. Resolution or the conclusion is the end of a story which may occur with either a happy or a tragic ending. Your answers earlier serves as an example for each element in the plot. Your answer Humanity survived from titans by walling themselves in a city protected by extremely high walls is the exposition or the beginning of our story the city walls were destroyed by a colossal titan is an example of a conflict and the start of the rising action eren became a titan is the climax of the story eren used his new power is the falling action eren defeats the female titan is the resolution or the ending of our story Remember this diagram for you to easily recall the elements of a plot. Exposition is the beginning of the story. Here you can find the introduction of the characters and the basic situation. Between exposition and rising action, you can find conflict. Conflict is a struggle between opposing forces that drives the action of the story. The portion of the story where the conflict increases is called the rising action. And the peak of action and conflict is called the climax. Falling action is the portion of the story where the conflict decreases. And finally, the outcome of the conflict is the resolution or the ending of the story. Now, let's have an activity. I believe you already have a pen and paper with you, so let's start. For your today's activity, you're going to read the following version of the tortoise and the hare, then list the events of the story on the plot diagram. You may pause this video to copy this plot diagram on your piece of paper. Since you're done copying the diagram, I'll give you 2 minutes to read the story and 1 minute to fill in your answers in the diagram. If the time is not enough for you, you may pause this video.
Time's up! Here's the answer key for our today's activity. For me to know if you really learned in our today's lesson, let's have a seat work. I believe you already have a pen and paper with you, so let's start. For our today's seat work, you're going to identify the word that is being described in each sentence. I'll give you a minute to do this. If the time is not enough for you, you may pause this video. Time's up! Let's check your work! Here's the answer key for our today's seat work. set. I hope you've learned a lot from our today's lesson. I hope that now you know the elements of a plot. It's the end of my shift now as a member of the survey corps. Time for me to say goodbye to Eren. Anyway, please comment down below the score that you get in our seat work. If you pass, I'll post a shout out of you in our next video. Speaking of shout out, as my means of showing my gratitude and appreciation to all of your comments in my videos, I would like to post a shout out to the following people. Thank you for all of your encouraging and positive comments. Your comments are important to me. By the way, the sole purpose of me making video lessons like this is to help children be able to study at home. So in order for this video to reach as many children at home as possible, please share this video to your friends. And again, to help me be encouraged in making video lessons like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!